Hello and welcome to the XG Tutorials. Today we're going to be doing a video on copy trans, as you've probably heard in the video on Rockadoc. Um, I was going to do this video now. Um, it's for anybody with a jailbroken iPod. Uh, I'm going to move the camera. Uh, jailbroken iPod that wants to get songs. Obviously, you all know if you've got a jailbroken iPod, you cannot get on iTunes to update your software because it's jailbroken. You need to restore it and put all the songs back on. So what I'm doing currently is just literally getting all of my songs back onto my hard drive and then once I'm ready I will then uh, restore it because obviously you get the uh, new firmware that gives you the um, multitasking thing which I haven't got yet because it's jailbroken. But I'm going to tell you how to do a video, tell you how to get songs onto your iPod. Um, on your iPod with, with it already jailbroken, which is very, very cool. I've got to admit, it's really quick and simple. Okay, then, so we're gonna get onto a video. So, say, I'm gonna go on YouTube, turn the video, I don't want to see my face that close. So, has anyone got a video? Okay, so let's take Mars Rap. Oh, god, not I just did. Uh, take Mars Raps' video, pause that. Uh, obviously, you see that, yeah. So, literally, you're gonna get a program called free YouTube MP3 converter doesn't matter about the firmware, it doesn't really matter um, I'll put a link in the description for this and then literally all you want to do is uh, copy and go to that, paste as you see there, comes up with it and then literally get your browser I've obviously got it already done because I already downloaded this song convert it, well download it'll download then you minimize this and then also, this will be in the description. Copy trans. I'm going to close the internet as well. Um, this is a very cool one. So, oh god, what's this? Okay. Um, you want to go to uh, which one was it? Copy trans manager. Click on that. It should say Stein program. Well, downloading for you for your first time, and then it will come up with some of this. Exit that, and then it is now safe to plug in your iPod. Obviously, it will detect my iPod already in. It's already clicked. And there's all your songs. And literally, simply, you can go through all of them. You can delete stuff. So, if I go to like this one, start one, you can edit or change, delete. And then, the one thing you want to do is if you go over it, add this track, and then it'll come up with a browser file. As you see, all my songs that I've currently got on my hard drive is here. I think all of them are already on, so if I go to like Blink 182, you've got all the songs and then some which is uh, for videos that I've been doing in them uh, earlier on. Um, and literally, you just click, add the song, and then it'll come off this, and literally, it'll add it, and you'll have, you'll have like, let me see if I can get my mouse into the picture at least. Where's my mouse? There it is. Uh, I can't even see my mouse on the screen. Um, you'll have a, a like a an unknown artist about there, and then literally you just change it to what you want. Click update. Your iPod will go uh, sinking, sinking, sinking. You'll open it up. Nice football background. You click on your music for like a minute. It'll say waiting for a music file to upload, and literally the rest is simple. As you can see, I've got. Let's see if I can get my iPod to go on a bit of a slant so I can get over it. I'm going to stand up. Get my head in the light. Zoom in. As you can see, I've got a lot of my albums. All with uh, album covers. Got to have album covers. And literally, that's all you've got to do to get music on your iPod. I did a quick video on this earlier on during this account and it weren't really explained very well so I just wanted to get this video over and done with because I thought that getting this video done would be very helpful to people because I know I was struggling with all them <coughs> pardon me uh, I was struggling with how to get um, video 